Hi, I'm Allie Sealander with UTD GeoNews, and today we're going to talk about what caused a massive 8.1 magnitude earthquake that shook the Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, on the morning of March 5, 2021. This was a noteworthy event, as earthquakes of this size are a rarity. Thousands of earthquakes happen across the world every year. On any given day, several hundred magnitude 2 or below earthquakes occur and go largely unnoticed, even by the people who live nearby. Earthquakes in the magnitude 7 range occur about 15 times a year. But magnitude 8 or higher, these great earthquakes are only expected to hit maybe once a year. This magnitude 8.1 event was the largest that's happened in the area since a magnitude 8 earthquake struck in 1976. The largest ever recorded earthquake in New Zealand occurred on the Wairarapa Fault in 1855 and resulted in 18 meters of horizontal land movement and pushed up the nearby Rimutaka range more than six meters. And just a decade ago, a much weaker magnitude 6.3 quake struck near the city of Christchurch and unfortunately killed 185 people. It's evident that earthquakes as strong as the recent 8.1 Kermadec event are deadly if they happen in populated regions, so it's important to know a little about them. The good news is that the Kermadec Islands are largely uninhabited and the resulting tsunami was minimal, less than a meter tall. Even though this earthquake didn't turn out to be devastating, it was still watched quite closely. Earthquakes are taken very seriously around New Zealand. The estimate is that there's about 150 to 200 earthquakes that happen around New Zealand every year. So what's the deal? Why does this area have so much seismicity? Well, it has to do with the fact that New Zealand and the Kermadec Islands sit on top of a boundary between two massive tectonic plates, the Australian plate to the west and the Pacific plate to the east. The Pacific plate is the biggest plate on Earth, and almost everywhere around its margin are volcanoes and earthquakes in a zone that was dubbed the Ring of Fire, long before Johnny Cash wrote his hit song. In this region, there is a deep trench where the Pacific Plate sinks beneath the Australian Plate. The Pacific Plate moves westward towards the Australian Plate at a rate of about 60 millimeters per year. This is about the same length as your little finger. This sinking or subducting of the Pacific Plate is not very smooth, and so the convergence of the plates builds up stress. When this becomes too much, the fault between them slips to release the stress, creating an earthquake. The magnitude 8.1 quake occurred 20 kilometers below the crust in what geoscientists call the seismogenic zone. The hypocenter, where the earthquake occurred, was right on the boundary between the Australian and Pacific plate on a westward dipping thrust fault. A thrust fault is when the rock above a fault moves up and over the rock below the fault. In this case, the Australian plate pushed eastward and the Pacific plate westward, moving suddenly to produce the magnitude 8.1 earthquake. Thankfully, this earthquake occurred in a remote area about 600 miles away from New Zealand's North Island and didn't turn into much more than a news story. Let's hope that future big quakes like this happen far away from where people live. I'm Allie Sealander with UTD Geo News, and I'll see you next time.